What's up everyone, welcome to today's video, welcome to the Video Game Fry School channel, thank you very much for tuning in. I saw an article that was a very clever use of words, <laughs> I'll call it maybe click worthy, I won't call it click bait, um, and it was quite interesting in the way that it worded uh, things. It said, why 50% of all PlayStation owners are unable to play GTA 6? Now, that's not necessarily the main crux of my conversation today, in fact, the crux of my conversation is to try to make some sense of this claim that I'm seeing that because GTA 6 has a one year or potential one year delay because they haven't announced anything for PC as a potential one year delay that most PC players or at least some PC players are going to go buy themselves a PlayStation 5 or an Xbox Series X or S so that they can play GTA 6. Now, I'm not a GTA player, so I don't really know what the draw, the pool, the stronghold is upon the lives of gamers that GTA has. I've not played since like maybe GTA 3 uh, when, you know, I, I played one side mission and I did not like the side mission and I was like, screw this game. And I have not played GTA for the longest time. Plus, if everybody's doing something, you can sure bet that I'm not going to be found there doing that. It's just how I actually operate. Not saying it's bad that somebody else plays GTA. I'm just saying that it is just not my kind of game simply because it is just not my kind of game. However, the mentality that is here with uh, and among a lot of gamers on the PC side, uh, you know, brings me to this conversation to kind of assess and say, well, is this really strong enough for, you know, a lot of PC players to basically abandon, uh, you know, a lot of the things that they've basically held on to for the most part? And the answer to that is a heck no. Let me go ahead and provide a little bit of context to this stuff, because it seems like a lot of people are I don't know what it is. It seems like a lot of people are somewhat drawing this inference based on their own personal approach to, uh, you know, the way a lot of these games uh, actually work or the way they actually do like these games. The very first thing that I have to say in, in the most, uh, you know, I would say polite way is some people do not have the discipline to wait. And, you know, that's just them. That's their own prerogative. And that's in video games. Now, I have this same vice, but it's in other things, right? And so every single one of us, we have our vices and things that we just cannot wait for. And for me, video games is, you know, in a sense, no longer in that category where I'm going to be over here saying, ah, oh, man, I got to, I got to know. In fact, now I actually need to because I'm busy and I'm doing all kinds of other stuff. Now, if it's a new GPU, oh, you bet I'm going to be there. I, it's hard for me to wait for new GPUs. So I'm not throwing blame on anybody. I'm just saying that in that case, we need to be very careful to think that everyone has the exact same, uh, you know, attractions as we do. So if you like playing GTA, you might think that GTA will force somebody to go spend an extra $500 and then spend $70, or at least many of us know that GTA is at least going to be, a, you know, $90, $100 when it comes out. So what you're saying is someone who's never owned a console is going to go blow $600 rather than wait a year because you think that you can't wait that long. Come on now. This has to be put in perspective in order for us to be able to figure out what's going on. Another really interesting thing is we've shifted to this generation. And in my opinion, I don't necessarily see Rockstar keeping the PC version for GTA way long, you know, past the release date for console. There are many indicators in the market right now, and this is where this article comes in, that I strongly believe may see GTA 6 on PC at launch, or at least shortly, six months after it's been released on console. And we're going to go ahead and dive into this. GTA 6, it says, with Grand Theft Auto, uh, release they confirmed fans face an agonizing wait before they can get their hands on the latest entry in the blockbuster video game series. But according to new data, even when the wait is over, GTA six will remain unplayable for 50% of PlayStation owners, leaving millions unable to enjoy the title. That's because half of all monthly active users on PlayStation still rely on the 11 year old PS4 console of the 118 million people playing on the PlayStation every month only 59 million have upgraded to the PS5. Unfortunately for the remaining 59 million, Grand Theft Auto 6 will not release on the console on launch day. 
For now, Take-Two Interactive, parent company of Rockstar Games, has only confirmed plans to release GTA 6 on the PS5, Xbox Series X, and S, with rumors swirling that an incoming PS5 Pro console will be timed to capitalize the launch. Rockstar Games has confirmed that Grand Theft Auto 6 will not launch this year. Blah, 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 blah. Now, with this in mind, seeing that GTA 5's, uh, you know, uh, addressable market, let me use Sean Layden's words about, you know, using, making exclusives, seeing that, you know, the addressable market for GTA 6 is actually much smaller than the addressable market for GTA 5. Hey, I think PC is going to need to jump in there to be able to make that Rockstar sales money. Is anybody counting or is anybody doing the math? If you're doing the math, then from an analytical perspective, if you're, say, maybe making the decision for Rockstar and it's like, well, our game could not fit on the PS4, the new consoles have not grown, nor have they jumped into the numbers that we would have expected. And we don't have cross generational, you know, backing. We need to basically get this PC version out there. You see, the market dictates things differently. I remember when people were arguing this point. Oh, when that Rockstar animator said, you know, we have to prioritize these consoles and all that stuff. Well, if Take-Two wants to make money, they need to bring this game to PC fast. Thanks for watching the video. Peace out.